Queen Jack offsuit is flat called at a position. I'm going to mix it up between uh, flat calling and uh, through bidding this hand against the right type of opponents. This person is not going to be really the right type of opponent to uh, through bet a hand like this. He's been folding to most of my three bets, so I don't think I uh, am going to dominate too many hands when he defends to uh, my three bet. And uh, I did just show down an 8 6 offsuit in a three bet pot, so I don't really want to uh, three bet this hand and then get into some tough situation where, was, where he puts a lot of pressure on me post flop or pre flop, just assuming that my range is really wide and weak. Just because it's going to play fine when I flat call it to the position. Oh, I do uh, flat call it and end up check raising board. Check raise it because I have a gut shot. And he's been c-bending a lot of weak hands. I'm assuming we can just because of the frequency at which he opens the button and which he see bets pulls flop. I like to fire the turn again. Yes, it's not a very good turn card, but I really don't have that aggressive of an image up until this point. I think I get a lot of credit for having a big hand up and big hand in this spot. You know, he when he's c betting that much, he's going to have some air on here that he decides to float with. He's going to have a pair of sevens, a pair of nines. I'm not too sure if he calls my check raise with those hands. I think uh, some percentage of the time he definitely does. He can have, you know, some open end straight draws, even some gut shots, and I think I can just get him to fold, you know, the draws and the gut shots. And even pair of sevens, pair of nines a lot when I bet this turn just looks really strong just because you know just because it's a bad bluff turn card doesn't mean I can't ever have a bluff there I want to be able to bluff there because then it'll get me looked up later in that same spot that being said I don't really I'm gonna bluff all that often here but I do still have a gut shot but uh, I expect most of the time that he's either going to be folding or jamming. And, you know, he clicks it back, makes it real small. Uh, there's a spot here where when he makes it that small, of course, there I don't think I'm ever going to have really any fold equity and there's no point in jamming. But it, just if I was in his spot, that I think it just makes a lot more sense to... Uh, jam or just flat call you know he is protecting against some draws but I don't think he's really inducing me to jam any of those draws when I when he clicks it back because I doesn't really perceive that I have any fold equity by putting another 500 or whatever it would be into the pot when he's already committed that much here I think he's got a big hand Of course, you know, if he had something like King Jack, King Queen, yeah, jam's better. Looks more bluffy the times that I, you know, end up, you know, back calling Jack Ten of Clubs or something like that here. And also, uh, he can play pretty well on the river by, uh, you know, folding. It's pretty easy for him to pick the cards that he folds on the river if, uh, he does have a, a weaker hand. 